What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with a back here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the five best passing plays in Madden 20 These in my opinion are the five best stock passing plays meaning you don't have to make any adjustments And they just have solid route combinations that beat all of the popular coverages that you'll see in the game Like cover two man cover two cover three and cover four So if you're more of a beginner and you don't like making adjustments and hot routes You can just call these plays directly from the play call screen and be equipped to beat all of the popular coverages And if you're more advanced you can mix these into the other plays in your playbook now really quickly before we get into the five plays I do want to make a quick announcement I have started channel membership so if you notice below this video we now have a join button now what this is is something kind of similar to like a twitch subscription if you're familiar with that it's a monthly subscription where you get exclusive benefits so there's two tiers I have the first tier and you get badges next to your name and comments you also get access to my private discord where you can chat with me directly and other community members about Madden strategy and just Madden in general you also also we get exclusive videos every month so that means exclusive tip videos I might do like full game breakdowns where I walk you through what I'm doing and I might even do other like just types of videos just exclusive videos every month that nobody else will get to see except for members and then there's a tier 2 subscription where you get all of that stuff but you will also get things like ebooks or like formation breakdowns where I go in depth and just break down an entire formation do like mini ebooks or maybe break down an entire playbook so if that's something you're interested in hit the join button below I'll have a lot of exclusive content coming very very soon but that's it let's get into today's video the five best passing plays in Madden 20 okay so the first play we're gonna look at is out of the gun a slot offset and the play is called the levels Y sale you can find this in the Patriots playbook and in the pass balance playbook the reason this is one of the five best stock plays in the game is mainly because of the corner route to the A tight end. It cuts at just the perfect angle and it also cuts very fast. So it does a good job at beating man but it also finds a soft spot against almost any type of zone in the game. And then on the back end you have all these dig routes that run at different levels and it just makes it very hard for defenses to defend. One of these routes will typically find an opening in a zone, but they also usually do a pretty good job at beating man as well. So we'll look at it versus man first because you need good man beaters this year because man defense is actually pretty good. And it doesn't matter if you have a linebacker or a cornerback or a safety, whoever is lined up on this tight end, the results are going to be the same. He's going to create crazy separation on this break. It is probably the best corner route in the game it has been for a few years now. It just gets really good separation. It runs at just like the perfect angle. A lot of other corner routes, they're a little bit steeper and they have slower cuts. So they just don't do a good job at beating man. But you can see, and this is Ben Watson. It's, you know, he's a solid tight end, but he ain't Travis Kelsey. He's not George Kittle. And he's creating crazy separation. And then against zone, most zones, like cover threes and cover fours, for example, he's going to find a soft spot against all of those zones right there. And you can actually run after the catch with this a lot of times. Doesn't matter if they shade their zone down, if they keep it regular, there's going to pretty much almost always be an opening. Here's a cover four, for example, just a regular cover four. He's going to always find that opening right there because the deep zone just drops too far back. Now, you also have all of the underneath stuff to think about. So if somebody goes and manually tries to cover that, you know, like I said, if it's man or zone, you know, like this, this tight end right here on the short end route, he is probably the second best route on this play. He will dust man defense. Doesn't matter. It's Lance Kendricks. He will absolutely roast man defense. Um, he, but he'll always be open underneath against zone and then if you don't want to throw him then you got the X receiver on the back end who's going to also be wide open so basically against any standard zone you have the tight end and you have the dig routes now when you go to cover two the cover two will defend the corner route a lot better so you, you can see that it's a lot tighter but again you have the underneath stuff wide open easy five to six yards to the underneath stuff so what you're typically looking for man or zone you're looking tight end and then you're looking to the underneath routes now if they have a zone like cover two cover three whatever the case and they're shading it down then that's when you can look a little bit deeper so like a cover two shaded down you can see now the corner routes wide open because the defense is focusing underneath but also when they shade zone coverages down no matter if it's cover two cover three cover four whatever the case may be we'll go cover two again here you'll notice that the b receiver you don't want to sleep on him either he's going to beat man defense very very nicely as well but if they shade their zones down he's going to be wide open over the middle as well that was just a bad pass from brady but you saw how open he was he's just the latest developing route on the play so he's going to be the last one that you look to throw to a few moments later so next we're sticking in the same playbook same formation the gun a slot offset and the play we're going to look at is post i believe this is also only available in the new england patriots playbook 
Now, the great thing about this play, first off, is the, the route to the running back, the angle route. You can throw this versus almost anything. Any zone defense that does not shade underneath, you can literally throw this underneath and pick up 5, 10 easy yards all day if they do not manually defend it. It doesn't matter the coverage, cover 3, cover 2, cover 4, it does not matter. You can throw this all day long and pick up huge yards. So your user your opponent has to literally sit on that or he can't stop it. And if you're playing the computer, like honestly, you could throw this every single play. Uh, even if they shade the zone down, you can still usually find like a hole in here to fit this in. It's a little bit riskier, but if you time it right, look, I mean, we still got seven, eight yards with the defense shaded down. It's just that good of a route. And if they go man defense, I mean, then it's just even, it's crazier because look how much the defender like over pursues it and you can go upfield for a huge game with this route all day long. Now, the second best route about this play is going to be the corner route to the outside because any zone defense that does not have a cloud flat on the field will not stop this corner route. So if there's like the purple zones on the field, this route gets to the sideline every single time. If the defense is shaded down and has hard flats, it gets to the sideline every single time. The only way to stop this is by running a cover two or using a cover three or cover four with cloud flats, which most people don't really do that. But if they do that, that's just going to leave the tight end wide open underneath. And you can literally just lead him up the field and you see huge yards between the corner route and that, um, and that underneath flat route, one of them is typically going to always be open no matter what. Now, if they go man, there's some other options you have. Like, even if they man press you, typically this corner route, if the, if the defensive back doesn't get psychic, this corner route will usually completely beat this on the break. And of course, just because I said that, he got psychic right there. But more times than not, that corner route is going to absolutely dust that defender to the sideline, especially if you have a much better route runner. Demarius Thomas in the game right now isn't the greatest route runner, but typically even he, you see the type of separation he gets. That's what you normally can expect out of this. And then, of course, you have the other corner route to the tight end. And if you time that on its break, it'll do a good job against man as well. Now, the last thing I want to show really quickly is cover two. If, against cover two, if you can get the time, the post route will split the coverage for a huge play or a touchdown. You see, it's, it's kind of hard with guys like Khalil Mack, but you see how it's splitting the safeties. I'm actually... Just going to go ahead and drop Khalil Mack back into a spot here just because in practice mode, like there's literally going to be no chance to really block him. But I just want to show you how the post route works versus a cover two. It'll split the safeties for a huge gain. And that is another reason why this is one of the best plays in Madden 20. The next play I want to talk about is one of my favorite stock plays in the game for years now. It's out of the pistol bunch tight end and it is the cross drag. You can find this in the Saints playbook, the Buccaneers playbook and the pistol playbook. Now, the reason this play is such a good stock play is because it has the routes on it that you would want in most plays. You got the dual drags already there for you. The B drag receiver actually goes a little bit deeper, so he does a really good job at beating man end zone. And then you've got the deep crossing route, which is always good in Madden. And then you have a really deep dig route going over the middle, which you don't usually see a stock, you know, in route that goes that deep. So it's really, really, really tough to beat. So we'll show it against man press first because, again, you're going to probably see a lot of man uh, at least early in the year, a lot of people are loving man, and usually you just need a little bit of separation. You don't need much. So, I mean, we got hit with the ridiculous block shed there, which is just, you know, you can't avoid that sometimes. It is what it is, but as you can see, we had the crossing route coming wide open, and it's going to take a little bit, though. They have to get off the press and things like that, but you see, I mean, it, it's just easy. You just rack catch it. You go upfield. Huge gains versus man. Um, I mean, it, it just really doesn't get any easier than that. You know, you might get hit with a block shed here or there, uh, it just that's just part of the game but other than that you should be good as you can see here you can see the b receiver when he kind of takes that little cut it's really sharp easy five to six yards versus man and then of course the deep end route over the middle is going to also do very good against man as well now we'll look at a cover four so i mean when you got zone defenses i mean it's just easy pickings you know underneath routes all day if they don't shade down you take your underneath routes all day long and you love it all day long so here you saw we hit the tight end now you're going to see the B receiver. I mean, look at the yards we're getting here. Just, I mean, a, a little four-yard route just went for like 20 yards. Really, really simple. Doesn't matter what zone defense it is. We'll go to cover three now. It's going to work the exact same way. If they're not going to shade down, I mean, like, they're just, they have to back up. That's the thing. Because you have a deep cross going, you know, left to right, and then you have that deep dig route over the middle. So if they don't shade down, I mean, it's just, it's just underneath routes all day. And they can't use or both B and uh, the tight end and see again the B route goes for really easy yards all you gotta do is just time it pass lead it up a little bit huge yards now if they start shading their zone defenses down you know that's when you look a little bit deeper they're shading down I mean you're gonna have 
the uh, the crossing route is going to be open whether they shade down or not. The crossing route is going to beat all zone defenses because that's what crossing routes do. They find an open hole. So the crossing route, whether they shade down or keep it stock, you have it there. But I just recommend taking the easy 5 to 10 yard dump downs if they don't shade down just because they're giving you very easy easy gains that you don't have to think that hard about, right? Now, again, if they shade down, though, and whatever, you know, maybe they shade down, they use the crossing route, well, then that's when you have the deep dig coming over the middle. The deep dig is, I mean, it's just a perfect, perfect length. It gets over top linebackers, but it gets right in front of the safeties. They can't make a play on it. Cover two, same thing. You know, if they shade down, then you, you go to the dig route or the crossing route. If not, I mean, you just hit the underneath stuff all day because it's just too easy. So one of the best and easiest stock plays in the game to run is really dummy proof. You just have to make really simple reads and you can move the ball all day with a play like this. So the next play we're going to talk about on our list is a very, very simple play. Again, one of the best stock plays in the game. You can find this out of single back deuce close. There's some other like tight formations you can find this out of, but I like it best out of a deuce close. I will have all of the playbook that this is in up on the screen. And the play we're going to look at is the play bench. Now, this is just a simple concept. It's a bench concept and it's not a game breaking type of play. It doesn't have the biggest you know big play potential but it just does a really good job at beating pretty much most stock coverages that you'll see in the game it's a very good easy play to read beginners can you know run this very easily without it being too complicated but even advanced players like to mix this into their offense too because it just works very well so you see here against a cover four most zone defenses if they don't shade down you're gonna have either these out routes to the tight end all day long and you just pass them very easily you get your five six seven yards that's typically the range you're going to be in about five to seven yards against pretty much any zone defense if they do not shade the defense down you can see here we actually pass up the ball up a little bit got about six yards but we really could have got more like eight to nine um really could have but we kind of got like a little bit of a weird animation but still a good gain same thing in a cover three you know it, it, people love just sitting in zone defense and if you don't shade your defense down like you can pass lead these up you can see there we got about eight eight and a half yards very simple we'll go to a cover two now and you're gonna see the same thing cover two pass lead them up easy yards because especially the cloud flats and a cover two those cloud flats drop so far back they're they're gonna do a terrible job at, at trying to defend this as you're gonna see here the little route got bumped a little bit but we could still get it up there got about 10 12 yards of cornerback whiffed on it so we got about 10 yards before the cornerback was able to come to us and if they go man which a lot of people like this year a lot of people like man tight end out routes really destroy man this year i mean they do a really good job at getting to the outside there we got about four yards not the most in the world we actually would like to get more than that but if you're getting four yards of play that's like the minimal amount of yards you really want to pick up on any given play four yards of play means it's a first down every few plays but you see there with a better tight end like uh Ertz, he got a really bad animation there and we still got uh, you know a decent amount of yards he cooked his defender now if they start playing like underneath coverage in zone that's when you look to try to quick pass uh, the corner route so you see him play underneath you throw it really quickly and you possession catch him underneath the deep blue zones typically are not going to be too aggressive they're not going to be able to jump down and get on the ball that was a cover four here's a cover three we're going to shade it down so again if you see them on those route the tight end routes you just pass lead these under the middle you can possession catch them or you could try to catch and run depending on how the coverage looks but it's just like i said very very simple defense here's a cover two shaded down so this one will actually pick up a decent amount of yards because it's a cover two shaded down so you could like get this up the field for like a really big gain there and it's just like i said it's just a very very easy play that you can use it's really good when you mix it in and you mix like the run in with it and things like that but it just as you can see it beats every simple stock coverage that anybody could throw at you in Madden 20. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay what? And last but not least, we want to look at the gun bunch weak formation. And the play we want to look at is mesh post. This play can be found in the West Coast playbook. One of the best passing plays in the game. And you can run it stock and just to really defeat any coverage in the game. So any type of zone coverage that doesn't shade down, you're going to just be looking to hit either the drags underneath or the flat route to the tight end and just pick up easy, easy yardage. It's really the easiest play you can run. You already have the drags and everything built into the play for you that was cover four here's cover three so again if you see you've got the flat wide open you take that flat and you could pick up four to five yards right there unfortunately we didn't get the best animation in the world 
and he didn't pick up the four yards. But typically, I mean, you can see how open it is. As long as you get a decent animation and get going up the field, you know, you can pick up good yards. But there's a simple flat pass. But even, you know, outside of that, it doesn't matter. As long as it's zone defense, you have these underneath routes that are going to do a great job at getting open underneath for five to ten yards every single play. And then, of course, if you go man defense, you're going to get the same thing. But then this is when you can really start breaking out the post. So the post is going to do a really good job at creating separation. You see the separation it created there. You're going to want to have a decent route running there, you know, just for the best separation. But you saw he was able to create pretty good separation there on, on a pretty good cornerback. And then, of course, you have your drag routes coming underneath. Those will usually create really good separation as long as you have some decent speed there. So you got that going for you. Then if they go zone defense and they start shading down. So here we'll do a cover three shaded down. This is when you could take advantage of the post again and the wheel route to the running back. So you can see here the post over the middle. You pass lead it. Go for the possession catch. You're always going to get down in front of the safeties, which is really good. So here we'll go like cover two and shade that down. Of course, the post will be open, but I want to kind of highlight the uh, the wheel route here. You can just like pass lead that to the sideline there and pick up a nice gain. So this is really a play that you can mix in, do a lot of good things with. It's especially good for people that like to like blitz off the edge. Like, you know, a lot of people like to blitz all their linebackers or blitz their outside linebackers. This play does a really good job at beating that too because of this wheel route. If you see that they do that, I mean, it's just a simple quick pass to the wheel route and you get outside and pick up an easy 10 10 plus yards so one of the best passing plays in the game make sure to use it put it in your custom playbook if possible but you want to make sure you have this in your arsenal because it is a tough tough play to defend in madden 20 hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did as always you know the drill just like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time